everybody. Welcome back to Tokyo Nights. Tonight we are in Harajuku area and we're gonna walk around and we'll see what we can find. So we just started checking out this new building, a shopping area next to Harajuku Station. And they have some really nice shops there, right Akina? Yeah, it has some nice balcony there looking down the station. Yeah, the atmosphere was very nice and chilling and relaxing, so it was good. It will be probably a good place to have a break in the future. The other thing is they have a really awesome Uniqlo shop there, which I haven't really shopped at Uniqlo in a long time, but they actually have some pretty nice t-shirt designs. I would say that shop decor itself was very cool. Like they're playing some Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer movie teaser or like yeah. a Marvel's Avengers kind of uh, teasers too. Yeah, I like the Batman there too. It's awesome. Yeah, by the way, that thing was supposed to be the real one. Yeah, they had a mask there. It was actually in the movie, right? Yeah, so that mask, Christian Bell was in the mask. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so with that said, I think we should probably check out Takashita Street now. What do you think, Akina? Let's go! to Takeshita Dori, Takeshita Avenue. Yeah. But we just found this nice little cute path, which I think is called Brahms no Komichi. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of cool that it just runs right next to the Takeshita Street, but it's totally different. Like, it's very cute and it looks kind of European almost. Yeah, it's full of red bricks. Like, it's quite small and everything, but actually nice to just check that out before actually going to Takeshita Street. Well, we just started walking down Takashita Street, but Akina had to get herself a crate before the shop closed. Just had to get it. Because, you know, it's been a while to come here, and I can't remember when was the last time. Yeah, it's been a pretty long time since we've come, but we got ourselves a crepe. We also got ourselves a uh, tapioca drink. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that place? It's called The Alley. I'm not a huge fan of the whole tapioca craze, but actually this place is pretty good. You can customize your own drink as far as the sweetness level and the How ice level. <laughs> ice level and the temperature. I think it was good, you know, we got there, it's late, so there's not too many people and I think they got a nice design inside, you know, nice aesthetics. Yeah, and when we arrived in Harajuku, the Takeshita Dori was full of people, but it seems like it cleared it up quite a bit. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, you know, they got the usual like weird shops with the uh, Harajuku style. I think the place is really geared toward high school girls. Mm -hmm and of course tourists. It's a cool place and it's good to see it toward the end of the day when the number of people just dwindles. Yeah, and then we don't have to be packed with lots of people and then trying to find a way to go through, right? Like, come to think of it, I probably haven't really been to Harajuku in the night. So it was kind mm. of nice, um, different atmosphere. So I think we just went to some of the main places in Harajuku, so I guess we can just walk around and uh, maybe we can go to Bear Beer Tap Gotta room. go to Bear, yeah. I think that was one of the places we went to, one of our first dates. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get ourselves some nice craft beer in the Bairds. So we're at Baird's now, and in one of our previous videos, one of our subscribers named Mandy actually shouted us a round of drinks. So thanks a lot, Mandy. We're about to hit you up on that at the Baird. Thank you.
what'd you think about that beer at Bear Dock, you know? I did have some emotional connection to that beer place, you know, like that was our second day. But with that said, I think we're actually um, getting a little hungry for some food. So there's actually a ramen I used to send to a lot of people. I was sending this ramen, which is called, uh, what's the name of it? San Santoka. Santoka. Written as like a mountain head fire. So Santoka ramen, I think it's a quite a good one as an instant ramen. It's very good. But I haven't had the real one. I'm sure the real one from the restaurant's actually a lot better. They do actually have it in Shibuya, so I think we're gonna head on over there quick, you know, before we can miss our last train and just get us a little ramen. So we're on our way to that ramen shop in Shibuya, but I don't know, we just came across this waterway which I never really saw before. Did you see this before, Akina? No, I don't think there used to be anything around here, so I really haven't been here. Yeah, I think it's quite cool, like we're just finding more and more stuff in Shibuya which mm. I never even saw, so not bad. Not bad. So we just finished the ramen at Santoka, and what'd you think, Akina? Um, well, I like the ramen, but I think that instant noodle is really good with the broth. Yeah, the instant version, I think, actually does have a better broth, but this fresh one has better noodles and, of course, better meat, as you would expect. But overall, I was glad to try the fresh version. For the first time, huh? Exactly. So we have a news, right, Bobby? What's that? We made a guidebook based on this episode, and that's available for free for now. Okay, we'll put the link down below. Yep, free. Anyway, if you want to see some more Tokyo Nights, feel free to check out our previous video about Miyashita Park and Cat Street. And subscribe if you like this series, because we're gonna do it more of this. That's right. So thanks for watching this video, and we hope you have a real nice night. Good night.